Hello friends and I have come back after spending a long holiday with something new as today's episode will be really interesting and helpful for all the plant lovers because in today's episode we are going to discuss about the plant diseases how to identify them and the necessary measures to control or to eradicate them well how do you feel when going on an early morning walk and suddenly you notice that the plants in your garden are in poor condition i definitely am damn sure that you will think that this is the work of pests or that your plants didn't receive the adequate sunlight air water and many more and then you would start to spray the pesticides the fertilizers the manures but you won't even think twice that this may be the work of some diseases or fungus so in today's video i'm going to introduce you with some of these diseases of the plant but before that please like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to comment on the comment box and yes click on the bell icon for receiving the notification for our upcoming videos and i hope you will like this video so that's all i wanted to say so let's begin and the first one is blight in this the leaves of the plant gets discolored and as you can see this leaf is getting discolored the green pigment or the chlorophyll is vanishing and is turning into yellow or dark brownish or gray in color to stop blight disease avoid overhead watering to the plants by preventing infected dirt from splashing on the leaves from the soil as blight spores live in the soil since this blight thrives in humid and poorly ventilated areas so place the plant at least 12 inches apart to allow them for adequate irrigation this type of diseases happens in brinjal as well as bean plants so now the next disease is leaf blotch or leaf spot in this as you can see there are circular yellow spots on the leaf which later turns to gray these spots over here are circular as well as the outlining is yellow this is called the leaf blotch or the leaf spot this type of disease happens in the brinjal carrot beetroot and chili plant these leaf blotch diseases can be stopped by applying or spraying of the bordex mixture on the leaves which have got affected or on the whole plant now the next kind of disease is anthracnose and in this disease you can identify it by seeing that there are gray spots and black dots surrounded by yellow border on all parts of the leaves of mangoes guava and grapes plant to stop the spreading of this disease mix carbendazine in water in the ratio of 1 g in 1 liter of water and spray on the plant or on the leaves of the plant at 15 days interval now the next kind of disease is powdery mildew this type of disease generally happens in mango grapes okra beans and pea plant in this profused white powder grows on leaf shoot branches and trunks of the tree to stop these kind of diseases 
spray wettable sulfur on the affected part of the plant or on the whole plant in weekly intervals the fifth kind of the disease is brown spot in this type of disease the leaves of maize plant gets light green color water soaked lesions which later turn to brown in color or dark brown patches on the lower side of the leaves these types of diseases can be stopped by crop rotation field sanitation and growing of resistant varieties of maize plant now the sixth kind of disease is the wilt in this kind of disease the plant gets completely wilted or there is a drop in the chlorosis in the leaves as you can see in this bitter gourd leaves the chlorosis is dropping and these leaves are turning yellowish to stop this kind of diseases use resistant varieties of the plant and ensure that the plant gets adequate soil water and sunlight the seventh kind of disease is moa sick this generally happens on papaya and banana plant in this disease as you can see there are blisters like patches on the leaves and the leaves turn yellowish in this case it's a papaya plant where this moasic is happening and to stop this disease use various free plant materials and remove the diseased plant you can even spray a dilute solution of groundnut oil on the crop as soon as the symptoms shows up the last but not the least kind of the disease is bud rot this happens in the coconut tree and in this kind of disease there are discolored spots on the leaves of the coconut plant to stop the spreading of this kind of disease remove these leaves which have got infected and then apply or spray copper oxy chloride in the ratio of 4 grams in liter of water on the leaves after the one set of the monsoon this also can be stopped by providing adequate drainage system for these coconut plants as well as making proper spacing between each and every coconut plant and finally our video has come to an end and i hope you liked my video so till the next time we meet bye bye